and it takes less sessions than you would with traditional ultraviolet therapy. Can it spontaneously go away? Rarely. So most of the time it's a chronic condition? Yeah, the only times I've seen it go away is if I can find an underlying cause and get rid of the underlying cause. What would be some of the common underlying causes? Uh, strep. If you can find an, a, a strep, uh, someone has a chronic strep and you treat the chronic strep for a long time, you may get the psoriasis to go into remission for years. Are you saying you would look for like a strep antibody or something like I'd that? Look for, I like ASLO titers. I look for strep antibodies. If I have a really healthy, high, yeah, there's this, you see this more in little kids where they have no psoriasis, they get a sore throat and suddenly the psoriasis blows up. And if you can find the strep and treat the strep for a number of doses. Strep has been associated with uh, psoriasis? psoriasis yeah, time? especially gut tape psoriasis. It was reported down in Vanderbilt University a number of years ago. So we've actually seen a lot of post-strep reactions. We used to talk about rheumatic fever, and now we're talking about psoriasis. psoriasis and there's a thing called pandas, where kids get a post-strep that text the brain stem, and they actually get like a Tourette's or a sensor compulsive. So there is some concern that strep is haunting back in a very unique way as an antibody. It's not reaction. the strep itself. It's the way the kid reacts to the, reacts to the strep. So these things are reaction patterns. And it's not that the strep is so strong, it's not like it's immersive or it's a staph, it's just the way you react. So you can get psoriasis, post-strep psoriasis, you can get uh, other conditions, just neurological conditions that come out as a reaction to the strep.